Today we're starting the first episode of our WFB Spammer series. Let's get right into it. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Sotis, and welcome to the WFB Spammer series, the series that's going to teach you from start to finish how to build a spammer in WFB. Today's episode is all about design and speed. Now remember, this series is not a tutorial where you're supposed to copy everything that you see, but a broad guide. Now of course, I am going to be doing a spammer, and I'll be doing a separate video just for building that spammer once the whole series is concluded. And also, if you want to watch the series announcement, top right baby. Anyways. Let's get started by the only prop in the game worthy of being placed first. THE SPICE PLANK! <laughs> Have fun without your jumps, guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and just do a pretty classic spammer design that I'm pretty well known for. And that's what I call the double flag. The double flag is literally this. Four spice planks in a row, separated by a single piece of armor. The reason I actually do that is because it makes it so easy to place down our seat. Look at that, it's in the perfect middle every time. Amazing. Anyways, I actually haven't planned out this member at all because I wanted to do it with you guys. And I do believe that I'm going to do it out of Mothlar. So the first thing that you want to do whenever you place on your wood, and you don't have to have like this, you can have your wood like this, I don't care. As long as your spammer looks at least fairly good. I'm going to go ahead and get some more spice blanks. And I'm going to place them like this, all around the sides. This is going to help us to compress. And if we go to our auto clicker, I'm going to set it to repeat, and then I'll set it to 30 milliseconds. That way it has just enough time to register every single click. Anyways, I'm just gonna do that. Wait, 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 how many clicks do I want it to do? Let's do 55 clicks every single time I, I hit F6. Anyways, here we go. All right, wonderful. We've got all of our spice banks down. And remember, you don't have to copy this design, but it is a very good starting point for any spammer. Now, let's go ahead and put down our armor. And remember, leave space to add more wood if whatever armor you're using is heavier than Mothlar. And remember, you can use the pink gyro, and we're actually going to be talking about that in a later episode. Also, a super handy trick whenever you're placing on spice planks is to press control once, so you go into high precision mode, and you can press it again to go into higher precision mode, but you're just gonna cycle through precision. That way, you can place down your armor. Whoa, mega convenient. Then you can go out of high precision mode. Oh, amazing, 10 out of 10, OMG. Anyways, let's go ahead and go down here. We're going to place down our armor. I like to use the small armors, and you don't have to use a model armor, remember. This is just a guide. La, 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 la. Anyways, I'm also going to place it on the inside here, so we have mega maximum protection. There we go. And make sure they line up. There shouldn't be any empty spaces. Oh, yeah. Wow. And I'm not going to cover these end parts yet. Because if the ship is just a little too heavy by the time we finish it, then I can just add more wood. Anyways, let's go ahead and just add another layer of armor. This is going to help with not just blast protection, but armor in general. Okay, I thought I had placed that wrong. <laughs> and I'm not going to add a second layer in the middle because if, if your ship's broken enough or they're attacking the middle, you might want to just rethink the whole design. Anyways. Oh, I actually forgot. Oopsies. Anyways, now that we have the base down for our spammer, actually, I need to remove that, we're gonna go ahead and place down our seat. So if you followed this little bit of the guide, then the seat's gonna go right here. And I'm actually gonna place it under, if I can get it rotated properly. Rotating seats is a pain in this game. Ah! Okay, there we go. Got the streaming complete. Make sure we're not drowning. Look at that. We're not drowning. Incredible. Okay. It does look like we're going to have some problems with that. But don't worry. I'll show you how to fix that in a later episode. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead. Fix that armor up right there. And it doesn't look like this ship's going to be too heavy. So I am going to go ahead and just put our end caps of armor there. 
And if you want to kind of get rid of this, you can add a third layer of armor, just like so. And I'm actually going to do that because I want this armor to be mega safe. So this is the basic design for a spammer. We're going to keep working on it in the future episodes. Oh god! So now that we're done designing our ship with a bunch of little mishaps that you guys aren't going to get to see, we're now going to get on to speed. So there are two ways to make your ship faster, and as you can see, this one's fairly slow and a bit bumpy, and we'll fix that in a later episode. But the main way to get your speed higher is this speed glitch. Da da! Look how fast you're going. 67 is the top speed after running around for a little bit. But there's also another and slightly more difficult way, and that is by losing as much weight as possible. To do this, make sure that the inside of your ship has as little armor as possible. Of course, you still want armor here because you want to be as safe and protected as possible, as always. But you notice how we only have one layer of armor here, but three on the outside. That's going to help reduce a lot of weight. Now, if you're using armor like red steel, or even Black Steel, which are the two heaviest armors in the game, you might want to have as little as possible. Anyway, that's all for today's episode. I hope you guys liked it. Have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye!